the agency. So we got Lindsay Van der Vaden. I don't know if the lighting is very good here. Good, it's good. Okay. You Hello. And, you and lighting, man. <laughs> I just look like a ghost right now, but it's fine. Maybe if I put the water bottle. No, don't put the water bottle. <laughs> the lighting's better. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> you can put it, but put it on the side where it was, but get it out of the way of the camera. Is it better? It needs to be a little bit in the camera. Oh, you just you're terrible. There okay, whatever. We're just gonna have to deal with it. It's All fine. Right. Is then one sentence or less? How would you? Describe? One sentence or less. Um, I think I'm a very self motivated player. I think that's what I've always said about myself, and I think that's a really important thing when you come overseas to be a self motivated player. Because, I mean, in college, I wouldn't say you're handed things, but you always have someone. I don't know. You just always have someone to do something for you. And when you go pro, it's a lot different. You have to be self-motivated. And I think that's really helped me in my first season so far. So I think that's how I would explain myself. Name, age, position, and where you're from. I'm Lindsay Vanderweide. I am 22 years old. I'm an outside hitter, and I'm from California. Love it. And list your college and pro teams with countries and levels. Okay, I played at University of Oregon for the past four years. This is my first year as a pro in Nantes, France. Um, it's in the first league, so yeah. Yeah, and you guys are playing Euro Cup. Which yes, Euro, Euro Cup. Cup. Hmm? Which one? CV, right? That's what it's called? CV the, Euro Cup? CV is the European Federation, but you're playing the version of CV Cup that's Champions League. Which oh, cha oh, yeah, Champions League. Yes, sorry, everyone. <laughs> All good. Uh, and by the way, since you don't have so much experience playing pro, let's go back to your club. Just give them a shout out. Who's that? Club My ball. club, not. Club oh, ball. club rage, rage, rage. Shout out, rage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what's your? What are your goals right now? Like, what's the the vision we thought about? What do we, you know, talk about? Where where you're gonna go? Because you're signed with us for uh, three total years, right? Yeah. I mean, my goal. This year, as a player on this team, um, I want us to win our league championship for sure. We're on our way to doing that so far. We're second in the league by, I think, one or two points. So we're up there, and we still have more than half the season left. Um, this being my first season, another goal for myself is to just get better and just mentally prepare myself to keep going throughout the rest of my years that I want to play. Um, so a big thing is just getting better and just mentally preparing myself for the further I want to go foundational stuff yeah all right what's uh what's the difference that you've noticed between college and pro levels mm. and in league and euro cup play because okay um i would say the level i mean it's just sometimes it's just different volleyball some of the teams you get some of the teams we play in our league are super high level teams they like to play fast but then there's also the teams that maybe aren't as good in our league as well and they play a little slower. They're not as good. But Euro Cup, that's completely different because those are all, for the most part, very high-level teams. The games just feel faster, feel different, feel more intense. Those are honestly really fun to play because the crowds are more into it. It's just a whole different level of volleyball when you're playing in the Euro Cup compared to the league. But, yeah, versus college, I mean, uh, it depends what level you're playing at in college, but – for some games, it feels like about the same level, but then when you're in the Euro Cup, it's different because that's just high level. You're playing against pros who have been in the game for a long time. So, I mean, it really just depends. Yeah. All righty. Why did you choose this team? And we already know how it's going because you mentioned that. Um, I chose this team. This is my first year. It's hard to, like, know where you want to go, especially your first year because you don't really know anything going into it. Um, I talked to a lot of people that play in the French League. I talked to Lauren, who's on the team, the other American. And I talked to the coach. The interview with the coach is something that kind of sealed the deal for me. Um, what he said his goals are for the team, how he likes to play volleyball, were just a lot of things that I relate to. So once I talked to him, I kind of knew that this would be a good place for me. Lauren said that she had no complaints about this team. She's really enjoyed her time here. So... After talking with you, we thought this would be a good fit for me, and I'm really happy I chose it. Yeah. I just want to throw in there, it's uh, 
these interviews with the coaches for me as a player like i always was thinking i keep signing with these teams i'm talking to a manager or i'm dealing with my agent i know i know no one on the team i don't know the mm -hmm. coach why why can't we find these things out because i've had years where man the friction with the coach was just so hard whether it's myself and the coach or the team and the coach and so it's really important i think and i know we started this about three or four years ago and coaches even were like what <laughs> But now it's become more of a norm. Everybody that deals with us for sure expects us to do that. And, and for me, it's really important to impart that to others. Like, I don't care who you're with, ask for it. See if it's possible. You don't have to push for it, but ask. Because if it is possible, you can get a leg up on that decision. Um, what's expected from you as a pro by your team? What have you learned your response? Featuring Lauren Shad? <laughs> is that Lauren? That is Lauren. I'm on like the communal patio area okay what is expected from me as a pro is that what the question was yeah what do they expect from me um every day you have to be ready to play you have to show up every day at this point it's your job it's not i mean in college it's your job but you have school there's a lot of different things going on this now is the thing that i'm solely doing so I mean, it's just important every day in practice, you have to be ready to go. You can't be just goofing off because this is what you're doing. You have to perform in games, but I mean, showing up and doing your job is the biggest part. Yeah, massive. All righty. Um, what would you say the biggest differences or difficulties might be with the transition between college and pro? Um, I mean, the biggest thing is you're leaving America, at least for the Americans that are doing it. Um, the language is one thing, depending on where you go. I'm lucky that I'm in a pretty big town, a pretty big city where almost everyone speaks some form of English. So that's nice. Um, but that's just, that's just like the life part of it. It's different. You have to get used to it. You're in a whole different country, but it does take some time. You have to put yourself out there. If you stay cooped up in your room all day, you're not going to get used to life here. Um, it might be hard at first, but eventually you have to do it. And then also training wise, it's a little different. Definitely preseason is, I know colleges have tough preseasons too, but out here it's a little bit different because this is really all you're doing is volleyball. So you're training pretty hard and that kind of continues on through the rest of the season. Obviously it gets a little bit less as you actually get into the playing, but you're not going to have like an easy day of practice. Like you have to be ready to you have to be ready every single day because a lot of days you're doing two days every day, a lot of weeks. So, I mean, it's just different how much um, time you had to put into volleyball, but yeah. Awesome. All right. So then what's elite volley fam to you and why did you choose us? Um, it was kind of weird choosing an agent because you don't really know when you go into it. Like you're just kind of talking to these people and you're not sure, but I had a lot of my friends or a few of my friends in the elite volleyball agency. So they were the first people I asked. I talked to Amanda Benson multiple times before I signed with you guys. And she said, I mean, I've had no problems with elite volleyball agency. They put me in good places. Like Ryan's a great guy. I was like, okay, like, I'm not sure. I was really like hesitant on what to do, but I'm so happy I made this decision. It's really like a family. There's so many resources people wise. There's so many people involved in it that, if you have a question, there's someone you can ask and people are just willing to help you, which is great. Yeah. What is your agent important for? Like, so why, why, why do you need us? What, what, mm -hmm. what matters? What do we have to do? I mean, you're doing all the stuff behind the scenes. You're promoting us to teams. You're promoting us to coaches. We basically just have to play and give you film. And you're the one that has to find the teams for us like we're just kind of the the face of it and you're like the work behind it that finds us the teams i mean without you i i don't i wouldn't be overseas i wouldn't be in france for sure so your job is really really important for us yeah i'm gonna flip that right back at you and it's very important it's that symbiotic relationship that if you're doing well like your past performances are going to get you those opportunities but then mm -hmm. once you get that opportunity it's all up to you because once you excel, you know, it's like we talked about this. You have interest now in Italy and other places now, by the way, since uh, because of what you're doing. And that is very important for athletes to remember. If you do your job well, my job is super simple because now all I got to do is protect you and just make sure I filter that info, get the research and the background and foundation. You make the choices and we just keep going. So, cool.
uh, what do I expect from you in order for this to work? Like, so that I can do my job really well. Um, I think a big thing that you expect from us is communication. Uh, just keeping you up to date with new things that are happening, uh, when we're getting our visa, when things are coming in, communication is a big part of it just for the, just for it to flow smoothly. Um, it's nice that we have like a big group message with Elite Bali and we're always just updating little things in there. Everyone kind of stays up to date on everything. So really communication is the biggest part. Yeah, it is huge. All right. So then how is it to work with me so far as a player? So far, it's so good. Um, I really, I genuinely don't have any complaints. I'm in a great spot. It'd be different if I hated my life, but I can genuinely say I don't. Uh, I love the spot I'm in. I was hesitant signing with the team. I was like, are you sure this is it? And you're like, Lindsay, like, I'm honestly telling you, I think this is the best spot for you as a first year. And I mean, once again, like I knew nothing coming into it. And I completely agree with you that this is a great spot for me for my first year. Um, I'm completely enjoying where I am. I love the city. I love the team. I love the coach. So it's been a really good experience with you so far. Thank you. I was I like I a review. I just wanted to know what we're doing. Talking about how much we're talking. Like, hey, you're good. If you're bad, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's working. It's working. Um, all right. So then how uh, the next question is a little bit same on, on the same topic how have you used me so far when you felt like I, you need something or you, you it could be like you need something done or you as an athlete need something have you used me in some ways any examples yeah i just feel like whenever i don't know i have like a shitty game or i'm feeling out of it or i'm in pain like you're always like what's going through your head and i can just talk to you about that it's nice that you've played for so many years that you basically know every situation that I'm going through. You've probably been it, been through it a million times. So it's nice to just connect with you on that level. Also with like injuries, when my knees are hurting, you always just have something to chime in, what I could be doing to make myself better, healthier. So it's nice to be able to communicate with you on a player to player level almost. Yeah. Awesome, that's what I was going for. It's taken a while to get there, but trust me, that's been a lot of work. <laughs> that um and still there's more work to do so what do you like or respect about our agency compared to what you now know at this point about mm -hmm. agencies in general um i mean i've heard horror stories of course everyone's heard the horror stories of someone going overseas and hating it because they expected it to be something amazing oh i'm going to play pro and they just got put in a place that's terrible for them I think you guys genuinely care about where we go, not just throwing us into some contract just because it makes a lot of money or it's just the easiest contract to throw us into. You genuinely care about where we go and that really is good for players, especially first years, especially rookies, because we genuinely don't know what we're getting ourselves into and you guys care about where we go, care about how we are. So it's been really nice because I know other agencies Sometimes don't, from what I've seen. I don't know too much, but from what I've seen so far, some of them really don't care as much. Um, but there are some really good agents out there. And I will say this, that when I started in the game in 2002, it's, it was a nightmare, uh, honestly. Like, I could not find one. Even all my national team teammates, they were just like, dude, just try to protect yourself no matter what. And now I can honestly say that there are a few agents out there that I really like and respect and I started this agency because I wanted to be part of that change I wanted to become an example for high level high quality honest integrity all that stuff and, and I'm glad that we're on that path but we're on that path because we also have athletes like you that are working hard and who buy into that system so thank you um, of course. What, what are the common mistakes that you hear rookie pros are making when they're choosing jobs and or agents think of back home in America before anything happens? Uh, okay, so first with agents, I think is not talking to all, I mean, I think if agents are talking to you, you should at least give them the chance, like to talk with them, to see who they are, what they can do for you. I think you should at least give them the chance. Don't just nix them because blah, blah, blah. So it's important to talk to all of them, see your options. Um, and it's important to ask questions, like especially from other people who are in the agency, see how they like it, see how they like where they are. I think that's the most important part in picking an agent is talking to other people within the agency because they're going to be the ones that are actually telling you the truth. And then yeah. what was the second part? Uh, jobs, like what uh, contracts that might be. Oh, yes. Um, 
personally, I have a teammate, well, a former teammate that's kind of in a place where she doesn't love right now, and she kind of expected it to be something amazing just because of the location. She's playing in Italy right now, and it's just not everything that it was supposed to be or everything that she expected it to be. So I think, obviously, Italy is a great place for volleyball, and a lot of players want to play there. But I don't think you should want to go to a place just because it's the place. I think you need to know more about the team you're going into, about the location, about how much you're going to play, if you're going to play. And I think doing research on that is really important. Talking to the coaches, making sure your contract is what it said it was going to be. So really researching, communicating is a big part in getting you to the place where you want to be. Yeah. yeah just to chime in there right before I ask this last question, so you can prepare for the last question. Mm -hmm. What would you give yourself as advice starting off now that you know what you know, right? If you were to go back to last year. But before you do that, I just want to say that it is very important to athletes. Uh, you don't know it yet. But like Lindsay just said, you have to th think bigger and deeper. So bigger in terms of get those options. If, uh, if I get references for this agency, if you hear elite volley agency from our players or from other people are really good, great, talk to us. If you hear somebody else is good, great, talk to them. If you hear they're bad and they want to talk to you, talk to them. Talk to their athletes. Do that research. Be diligent because... You never know. There's a lot of political crap going on and whatever. And I know I'm trying to show the side of elite. And, of course, I'm talking to our players, so there are biases here. But at the same time, you can talk to any of our ex-players, too. Because when we split with people, I want people to get all of those sides because I want better fits, better and better and better fits with us so that we can take this to where we're going. But we are not the only option, and we don't want to be the only option. We need to create just quality amongst all of the options. That's our goal. So anyways, what is that advice that you would give your younger self starting this? Would you start earlier the process? Like what would happen? I mean, I couldn't, I mean, I could kind of start the process earlier, but I played beach. So it kind of was shortened in time at least. But I mean, I would definitely get on things sooner. I kind of was stressing out about it and kind of procrastinating talk, talking to people until like the very end because I was just kind of freaking out that I had to graduate college and go into the real world. So I would definitely say just starting sooner with my communication to agents and the people within agencies. But I ended up in a really good place, so it all turned out really well for me. But I would just say definitely communicating and getting on things when you can, because the more you procrastinate, the less options you're going to have. So, yeah. Very true. Very true. So last thing I'll leave everybody with is on that note, I know the difficulties that Americans face when they're in college. And that's why I started this whole hashtag pro volley 101 because <laughs> I want athletes from freshmen. I want high school seniors to see these things and understand what they're maybe aiming for or dreaming of. And that way you get this education resource, right? So even if you're not going to talk to those agents, be prepared about that whole process. So the moment you do, or you talk to teams, you know what to expect. You know how to ask questions and ask those same questions to everybody. Try and figure out things that way. So thank you so much. Uh, who you got coming up this, this weekend? Uh, Tuesday, we have Sean Lier, which is today, actually, Saturday. I, love it. I don't even know who we play on Saturday. We're traveling somewhere. The thing is, I never remember the names. I'm not from France, so I'm it's sorry. hard to remember the names. But there's also so many matches that it's like, what is happening sometimes? Because you play a Euro. lot of matches. Exactly. And then we have Euro Cup on Tuesday at home against the team from Italy. Don't know the name, but. I wait for that one. <laughs> All right. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> Big hug. Tell, tell Laura to stop peeking in on our conversation. Yes. Nice talking to you. Chat soon. Ciao. Bye.